hi everyone in this uh, tutorial we will talk about the uh, random walk of uh, number of particles how to simulate the random walk in the last tutorial we talk about the simulation for one particle and here we will try to simulate the random walk for a large number of particles so let's define the particle so let's say uh, this is our particle oh, one particle um, let's say one and the same way particle two three four two let's take 100 particles so we have 100 particles and then this is the position so this is our time so time is equal to one and this is your position in x and this is your position y and so let's say this so that let's put some some space here and now uh, so let's define the position to be 0 and 0 so all of the particles are at position 0 in the beginning so so all of them are at 0 position and now let's define time 1 and now let's define dx and dy so dx is equal to and dy is equal to and now uh, let's def I, let's me let me just put the random like any number here like i will i will define this number again later so let's say 1.1 and say 0.2 and now how will i define uh, position at time 1 that will be equal to uh, position at time z z sorry this should be time uh, zero and this should be time one so here let's define it as x plus dx and then i make it a constant Uh, hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about the simulation of random walk of large number of particles in the previous tutorial we talk about the simulation using excel sheet of one particle and here i will show you how to simulate the random walk for large number of particles so let's define the particles first so let's say i say i have particles ARD, particle one and then i have particle like this like suppose i have 100 particles like this and then define the position so let's define time is equal to zero and position x and y are both zero so all of the particle starts at origin origin and uh, so now this is our x and y now to define the moment let's say time is equal to 1 and now because it's moving in the random direction so we have to define a random variable so let's 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 assume that we want it to move in any direction so and it, it should take a step either positive direction or negative direction so how do we uh, simulate that random step so for that we need a random number and as i told you in my previous tutorial also so random number in excel is is equal to r a n d and parenthesis so this will give you a number between so you can double click and say enter again so you can see it it give you a number between 0 and 1 and if you have to define a number uh, between 0 and 2 you multiply this number by 2 and this will give you a number from 0 to 2 and if you have to define number between minus 1 and 1 you subtract this number from 1 so how does it work is like so it give you a random number between uh, 0 to 2 and if you subtract it from 1 then it will give you minus 1 to 1 so suppose if i get a number less than um, 0.5 because from r rand from uh, r a n d i can get mine less than 0.5 so if i multiply by 2 it will be less than 1 and then if i subtract it from 1 it will be 
uh, greater than zero and if same way i can get less than zero so you, you can think about it and it, it's not that tough so now um, we defined uh, this number and same way we can define this number again and you can see i have two numbers and then what i can do is i can take this step and add the initial step into it so i say initial step plus this step so this is not difficult and you can say enter and similarly i can drag it here and you can see so for y also i added a random number so this is this is your your movement at time one and you can uh, drag that again into the under particles and you can see so this is your position at time one now what i'll do is i'll copy the same thing and paste it here so what will happen because this is a so this is the beauty of excel sheet that now because i copied it and i didn't put any dollar signs uh, on the number so i can see you can if i double click on this and check the formula so what it does it automatically move the cell from b4 to e4 so now you can see that i have now i'm adding a random step to the position which was there at time is equal to one so now you can see that so my, my position uh, so this is my position at time one and this is position two and i can do the same thing again and again so as many times i want so i say v and then so let's let's let me i'm not updating the time again and again so let's let's delete the time and then do it again and again so you can see You can see this uh, that I can generate the walk like this so actually if you use VBA then you can do this automatically you don't you don't even have to paste this but this is more of a conceptual programming I wanted to show you the concept and that's why I, I'm doing it this way because this make it much easier to understand uh, otherwise you can just update the same cell again and again you can see my simulations uh, uh, some of the simulations I've shown uh, that, that it's not a tutorial but just a demonstration on how you can generate the movement of the particle there is a nice animation on the another uh, YouTube video but here I am just uh, showing you the concept so now you can see so let's see if I plot this points say insert and say points so you can see all of the points so all of the points are at zero so you can see all of the points are here at zero now if i plot these points you can see that they have moved with time so you can so you can see that they have diffused away right and now if i plot these points So, so you can see they are much more scattered now and now if I plot these points so they are much much more scattered and because uh, right now the scale is not defined uh, so that's why you, you don't see the difference so I can I can define the scale and then you will see the difference so let's let's do that um, so I can what I can do is uh, select this scale and say uh, format axis and say uh, fixed minus 10 and maximum 10 and same way for for this axis and say format axis fixed fixed minus 10 to 10 and say close right and then let's read this point and let's take this point and say format axis fixed fixed minus 10 and plus 10 you can see oh this one this format axis fixed, fixed minus 10 
and 10 and now you will see the difference so so I can let me make them same shape Ten. This is already ten, but uh, I want to fix it. So now you can you can see the. So what uh, I'll do is uh, I'll double click on any cell and say enter. So you can see that at t is equal to zero, the particles were all at one place at zero, and then they diffuse away from the center and with the time their their movement from the center or their distance from the center increases but it does not increase uh, uniform like uh, the particles are not moving only farther away they are moving in the random direction but by probability some of the particle reaches farther away from origin as compared to the others so this is this is just a, a demonstration of the concept and if you know VBA, uh, I have also provided a tutorial on how to use VBA. So in that case, you can really use the uh, animations. Uh, uh, so you can animate this movement of particles and the particles will move in the random direction. So, uh, so this is the conceptual work and I hope this will help you understand the, the concept which is behind simulating the random work. So I hope this tutorial will help and uh, if you have any questions, please comment on the YouTube and if you like the video, please uh, uh, do give us your feedback. So thank you.